it's time for Tall Tales. Today's story is the Five O'Clock Expresso. During summer vacation, two college-age friends are traveling on the train. Justin can't find anyone willing to take care of Molly, his pet snake. He decides to bring her along. His friend Tim doesn't think it's such a good idea. What could possibly go wrong? Find out in the Five O'Clock Expresso by Fayar Kiley. Oh, honey, don't make any sudden movements. I mean it. There is a snake behind you. He is wrapped around the support rail at the top of the seat. He's looking over your shoulder at the train's menu. No, no, I hate snakes. What should we do? We need to quietly get out of harm's way and not cause a panic. Slowly, I mean very slowly, slide down the seat, slither like a snake, and try to get under the table. Then I will do the same thing. Go on, slowly. Oh, brother. At the same time, in the next train car, Justin shakes his friend's shoulder. Tim, Tim, she was right here a minute ago, right here in my backpack. Wake up, wake up. What, what man? Tim says as he tries to wake out of a peaceful nap. The snake, she got out. Molly is on the loose. You have to help me find her, Justin pleaded. I knew this would happen, man, Tim growled. Just help me find her. No time for lectures, Justin says, shaking his head. If you were a snake, and I'm not saying you're not, where would you go first, Tim asked. A woman sitting behind the two traveling buddies overheard the boy's conversation. Earl, did you hear that? I think those guys are carrying snakes on this train. Yes, I heard it, and I was hoping that you didn't. What are you going to do, Earl? What am I going to do? What do you want me to do, Edith? I don't know. Do something. Get the ticket agent's attention. Call the SWAT team. Just do something. I hate snakes. Edith tucked her legs up to her chin and covered her head with a blanket. Earl made sure the snake was not under the seats or in the immediate area. Try to stay calm, okay? I will try to make eye contact with the train agent and wave him over to us. We don't want a train full of hysterical people. The guys had it in their backpack after all. There's a good chance it's not poisonous, Earl said while trying to get a grip on the problem. Okay, but a snake's a snake and I don't know one from the other, so they are all poisonous to be.